Almost 90% of family businesses fail by the time the third generation takes over. One key to survival is innovation. In retail, merely being online won't be enough for many companies. But as Tyler Matheson tells us, one Midwesterner who found her way to New York City is using her family's manufacturing capabilities to make a bright idea for removable wallpaper stick. It just, I feel like this is like more of like a story. The story is the thing for Elizabeth Reese, but this former journalism student never thought her story would become a third chapter in her family's business, the 91-year-old Cuban Nicholson printing plant in Milwaukee. I didn't really see my family's business as something creative. It wasn't even on my radar, it wasn't in my orbit. In 2010, Elizabeth's father, Mike Reese, mentioned a sales opening in his New York office while visiting her at grad school in Paris. Once she moved to New York, Elizabeth began a redesign of the company's website. That story begins with event and movie posters, graduates to billboards and later wraps, everything from trucks and buses to entire building facades. Over time, the printers of the humongous have adapted to numerous plot twists. That is where I started to think, wow, we could be doing other things. Other things that Mike Reese hoped might jumpstart a stagnating business. Elizabeth dabbled in wall-sized maps, signs for glass doors, but a startup looking to decorate a temporary New York office space changed her life. That was kind of the, the moment when I started just dipping my toe, um, saying, well, what's out there in removable wallpaper? Eight months of research unearthed a high end and a low end, but almost nothing attractive in between. Or something that was like bespoke, one of a kind, very specialized. Removable wallpaper designed with an artist's touch. It doesn't pull the paint. Her plan? to license contemporary work by artists in New York. Um, all hand watercolor. And print wallpaper on demand back in Milwaukee. Mike Reese was on board almost immediately. Uh, we really had the back end here. Uh, we have plenty of capacity for, we have a good system, and uh, it's, again, print on demand, it's printed and out the door it goes. Profitable almost from the start, Elizabeth's venture sold about $175,000 worth of her chasing paper in 2013. This year we're on track to do over a million. Chasing paper's two by four panels sell for $40 a piece on the company website, as well as the Urban Outfitters, West Elm and Bloomingdale sites. Being able to remove something and start all over from scratch again is one of the most amazing feelings. Interior designer Shelley Lynch Sparks has used chasing paper in more than 20 projects, including the new office space she's developing for Rent the Runway. I'm always customizing for commercial client, and they're really trying to identify themselves in the space. So we design the wallpaper, and then we throw it to Elizabeth, and then, you know, her designer puts their spin on it. A lot of her colors are really bold and give it a nice pop. Chasing Paper is also working for DIYers at home, ordering as few as one or as many panels as it takes to help them tell their stories. People are just wallpapering in a different way. Now it's an accent wall. Um, it's, again, the backsplash in your kitchen, behind your built-ins, or like for you know a kid's room. And it feels like you know a piece of art. And in fact, Chasing Paper will introduce a new art collection this fall. And like all survivors, Elizabeth Rees is changing. She's entertaining thoughts about moving home to Milwaukee, where she may take a more prominent role in the family business.